this project is all about Bridget Riley, um, an English painter who is fascinated with optical illusions and she's really well known for her op art. An optical illusion is something which looks possibly like it's moving or, or like it's 3D when actually it just is something that's flat. And so her paintings, if you look on your worksheet, um, are all made just by canvas or paper and she paints on them but she has this incredible way of making it look like it's coming off the page or it's moving or doing something. And so this box is all about op art and how we can use shapes and patterns and different types of lines to create illusions. squares are dry or almost dry you can start to glue them so the underneath part needs PVA glue and you're just going to put them together on a page however you like For your pom-pom creation, you've got some lollipop sticks. So glue these into the shape of the first letter of your name. My name's Laura, so I'm going to glue an L. These are really just for guidance, so you know where you're sticking your pom-poms. Now you need to cover all around with glue.
you have to wait for that to dry. And if you want, you've got lots of extra stickers in your pack. You could decorate your background with stickers and with tape if you would like. You're going to need to pop outside and find a twig or a stick because we're going to use that to hang everything on. Then you're going to take the inside of your box and you're just going to draw out or ask an adult to draw out for you some shapes. and start sticking shapes into the middle. And you need to do both sides. take your pen and do some drawing using different types of lines. I'm going to use some swirly lines. Once you're happy with how they look and they're decorated on both sides, you need to just take a pencil and push a hole through each piece. Then you're going to need to take your stick And your little pieces of elastic you might need some help from an adult for this part and then you can thread your beads onto your string Choose one of your pieces and tie that on too. First part of your hanging and then you're going to do the same again with the other four pieces of um, 
the other three pieces of elastic and your beads and shapes. Keep going until you've done all your strings and all your pieces and then you will have your wall hanging. You will notice you've got lots of long strips in your pack and what you need to do is take your strips and use a diagonal line to cut. So you need to find a pair of scissors, cut a little triangle off the top and then it's really simple because then you're just going to keep cutting that same parallel line all the way down your strip so that you're getting these really nice shapes similar to how Bridget Riley uses and you do the same thing over for all the colours of strips you've got. When you've cut your little shapes then you can start to use your glue and stick them down. Well done if you've done all of those activities. There is an extension now for um, people that are interested to do some drawing and something that is maybe a little bit more difficult. Um, so I've got three little pieces of paper you will also have in your pack and I'm going to show you some drawings now. So you're going to draw around your hand in pencil, just lightly, because we don't want to see the pencil lines. Then you're going to take your black pen and you're going to draw straight lines. You could use a ruler or freehand. And until you meet the pencil line, you stop. So you draw a line, stop when you meet the pencil line, and then come out the other side.
Now inside the lines, you're going to do put a curvy line from one side of the line to the other. So nice curvy lines, joining the lines up. And this should give an illusion of it looking like it's coming a little out of the page. going to be swirly lines. And you're going to take your water and paintbrush. And that gives the illusion of it being a little bit watery and, mo and movement. For your next drawing, you just need to draw lots of round lines, circles, one on top of the other, on top of the other lots of times. When you've done that, we're going to cut it out. Cut it into segments, like pie pieces. Take another piece of paper. And you're going to stick your pie pieces down. And then you're going to join up the lines. To create the illusion of one of these pie pieces kind of coming off the page similar to her work. I hope that you guys have had fun making all of your op art and that you have learned a little bit about pattern and shape and, and just enjoyed yourself. Have a really lovely day and I will catch you guys soon. Bye!